Hello and welcome to Neurology Made Easy. Today the topic we are going to discuss is hypothalamic hypophysial portal system and the hypothalamic hypophysial tract. So you know hypothalamus is very important structure in our our brain and uh, today I will tell you that how how various hormones are released. So you know this is uh, I'm drawing uh, pituitary. Pituitary has two parts you know posterior pituitary and anterior pituitary. So first I will discuss the posterior pituitary. The ab- above this uh, pituitary I have drawn hypothalamus. So I have drawn uh, two uh, neurons. The cell bodies are in the hypothalamus while the axons extend to the posterior pituitary. These two are basically I have tr- tried to show supraoptic nucleus and paraventricular nucleus. As so for supraoptic and uh, paraventricle, I have shown uh, marked with P, V, N. The supraoptic nucleus results in the release of ADH, that is anti diuretic hormone while the paraventricle nucleus results in the release of oxytocin. Now I am drawing arcuate nucleus. Arcuate nucleus results in the release of releasing and inhibitory factors that are released in the blood vessel, the blood vessel of the portal system and through these these factors later on cause the release of the uh, hormones in the anterior pituitary. For example, there is release of growth hormone releasing hormone and growth hormone inhibiting hormone which later on controls the release of growth hormone from the anterior pituitary. Then corticotropin releasing hormone and inhibiting hormone results in release of ACTH from the anterior pituitary. We also have prolactin inhibitory hormone that uh, controls the release of prolactin. Then there is thyrotropin releasing and inhibitory hormone from the uh, from this uh, arcuate nucleus that result in secretion of TSH. We have another nucleus that is medial preoptic nucleus that releases gonadotrophin releasing an inhibitory hormone and later on that results in release of FSH and LH from the anterior pituitary. So the relationship between the hypothalamus and posterior pituitary is not depending on the blood vessel. So we call it hypothalamic hypophysial tract while in case of hypothalamus and anterior pituitary there are blood vessels through which these releasing and inhibitory factors are reaching the anterior pituitary and then there is a release of the hormones. So this is called hypothalamic hypophysial portal system. The ADH uh, results in the vasoconstriction and it uh, causes water reabsorption. The posterior pituitary is responsible for also for pituitary is also responsible for release of oxytocin that results in uterine contraction and causes uh, muscles in the breast to contract and hence results in milk ejection. FSH and LH they have role in female. FSH re- causes release of estrogen and LH causes release of progesterone. In males, FSH causes sperm production and LH results in testosterone secretion. Then the other hormones, growth hormone is responsible for growth. TSH causes release of T3 and T4. They have various functions. Cortisol is released from adrenal cortex due to the effect of ACTH. So this is all about uh, these tracks. Hopefully you will understand it and take care.